Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics with my Arduino here. I have, I don't know if it shows up very well, I might be able to change the contrast on here for the camera. There's an adjustable contrast. Uh, yeah. So, um, I did a project called Crystal Ball on my Arduino here. And the idea is to get the LCD working. So I cheated, I wired it up, I downloaded a sketch off the internet rather than programming it in because I just wanted to get the the thing working. The reason is this is going to be my display for now for the um, off-grid solar powered mining cryptocurrency mining farm this is going to be the control circuitry of course I'll put it on a um, on a permanent board when I'm done which is coming out of China which is gonna take a long time to get here so for now what you see is what you get this is what it's gonna be until I get my um, my board that'll slide right on top of there nice and neat and I'll permanently solder everything up so anyway I have what you call a crystal ball and um, it's awkward for demonstration purposes to shake this so I'm going to take out the pin from the uh, switch it's a um, ball switch and I can touch it and basically it's supposed to be a really fun little toy that tells you different conditions for fun so it makes decisions for you if you're not any good at that my idea was to see if I could get this circuit working and then I am going to be setting up a voltmeter next which is going to be really simple so now I just take out the the uh, sensor wire here which changes the state and triggers a random number to show you a different word I'm just going to take that out and take out the switch and the wires that went with that and I'm going to put in a variable resistor uh, between um, positive and negative and connected to a sensor which or a input on here and that will then allow me to show the voltage on the meter so that will be next. So I have now I'm at the office and I've adjusted the pins a little bit here and the programming now I have a voltmeter okay and I took off the little electronic switch and the sensor wires that made this a game and I added a potentiometer a variable resistor in here I don't like how many wires I got in my way I'm gonna have to redo this but I can now adjust the resistor and that's connected between 5 volts and ground so I can adjust the voltage that goes through the wiper of the potentiometer into the input wire which goes to the Arduino and then the software converts that into the proper precise voltage and displays it on the voltmeter let me zoom in on there and show you that now I can turn the dial on here in the one way and increasing the voltage all the way up to 5 volts at this time it only goes up to 5 volts I'll be adjusting that at home later and oh, there's a little bit over 5 and then we can go down potentially all the way to 0 volts in the other direction 0, 0.00 so we have a very nice and precise digital voltmeter now all right and if I take the sense wire and take a ground I can also measure battery voltages so let's zoom back out and we'll be back here in a minute let me set it up to measure some uh, little handheld flashlight uh, batteries now I have here a dead battery and I have the ground wire off the variable resistor and then I have the sense wire and I get what do I get here? 0.40 volts. 
Alright, so that one is very, very good. I have a brand new battery right out of the package. Just for comparison, I'll pop that on here. All right now the uh, leads are open to the air, so it's going to just show random stuff. And we have 1.83 volts, a good battery. So now I have the ability to measure various batteries and voltages using this. I have a digital voltmeter, a functioning digital voltmeter. And I will take this home and set up a resistor divider. I'm going to do that off camera. A uh, voltage divider will be the next project later on. For, if you hear noises, forgive me, Michelle is making a mess in the background. Um, we'll be setting up a uh, resistor voltage divider network and then we can read in from the uh, the 12 volt battery bank and get a precise voltage. So we'll do that at home. So here's one step digital voltmeter. I'm part way in the process of getting my Arduino set up for my mobile uh, cryptocurrency mining farm. Going to be fully automated using Arduinos. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell icon and get notifications of updates. Talk to you later.